So I'm going to show you uh, how to use Live Preview. Um, basically, Live Preview is something I, I haven't been using, and I don't know why I haven't been using. Uh, only about three months ago, I started actually using this in my rehearsals. And I think the main reason is um, I always went to, I always knew what my opacity levels were going to be. I always knew where my locations were going to be. There was no reason to actually physically see it on the screen. Um, but I'll give you an example. When I'm on Disney Cruise Lines, they have an amazing LED wall for their show Beauty and the Beast. It's, I think it's like two megapixel and it's just massive. Um, it is so, so bright that it overwashes the, um, the uh, performers, it overpowers the lighting. So when they installed it a couple years ago, they actually lowered the intensity or the brightness of the LED wall drastically. I think they're like at 5% or something. And it looks phenomenal, it looks like set pieces. It doesn't look like a big TV set. Um, the LED wall that I'm currently using here on the Norwegian Breakaway here today, um, I am performing with it and I've noticed in all my videos that it, in some of my effects, the wall behind me is so bright that it's making me look like a silhouette because the, the, the beautiful stage lighting can't compete with the amount of lights LEDs aiming right at the audience's eyes. So for a lot of effects, especially softer routines, um, when I don't want to kind of blow them away, um, I want to just lower the intensity. But my intensity and my opacity on my computer screen does not look like it looks on that. This is where Live Preview comes in fantastic. Uh, I can take the computer, I can go over here to Live uh, Preview Off, if you go to ge Geometry, hit live, compute, uh, live preview on. Now, when I lower the intensity, you can see by my audition window, uh, which, is, which would normally be feeding directly to them, uh, it shows me exactly what that looks like. And I'll tell you, 35% here looks very dim and, and dark, but 35% on that wall is still really beautiful and bright. Uh, so I'll, in, in some cases, just make this a background of like 23%. Now this is going to change per image. If I do a black brick wall, it doesn't have any bright colors in it to begin with, so I may have to raise that opacity up. Um, but if I didn't have this on, and I had it in the off mode, which is how it usually is, when I, when I do that, I then have to go in here, raise that to 75 or 80%. If I fire that cue, um, I now have to go, oh, that's what it looks like. Um, but I cannot adjust the fade cues brightness now at all. It's t I, I have no control over that at all. The only way for me to see that is by hitting live preview on and then adjusting it and I can get that just where I want it to go. So um, that's live preview and live preview also works very good when we're animating our graphics, which we'll get to later on. But remember live preview allows you to see it while you're adjusting it, okay?